of went against us. And um, the, the court that we just had, six days trial, it was about feeding people and using amplified sound. They say when we feed homeless, we are creating a disturbance to motor vehicles. That's, that's their mm -hmm, argument. Mm -hmm. And um, it's stunting. So you, you feed well, Yeah, you got a ticket for stunting that's by, right. uh, what was that for? Uh, well, it was because when we feed people, they're gathering around us, and that potentially can be... Stunting is usually when you squeal your tires or drive crazy, but... Uh... So that's what they said. <clears throat> it, okay. Any of those uh, charges didn't stack with, with the court. It was like, it's still yet to decide for the judge, but um, it, really, in reality, they made fools of themselves because they don't really have anything tangible. So you think real. you're going to win this case then? I believe we're going to win not only this one, but the others that are coming because we have those fundamental guarantee rights under the charter. What happens in municipal governments, the mayors with the city council would place those bylaws which are against the charter. For example, freedom of association. It's a fundamental guaranteed right. They say, no, you have no right to associate with street church. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Freedom of uh, peaceful right. assembly. They say, no, it's illegal for you to gather in the park. you got 10 kids, right? Mm -hmm. And a wife. You're potentially gathering a crowd in a public park. <laughs> you can be Our charged, family shows up, it's a crowd. <laughs> you know? Then, of course, you're feeding your kids, right? So yeah, you're giving you free go. goods and services. We can go okay. on like it's ridiculous. All right. Let me, uh, yeah, I, 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 we got lots to talk about. We want to get some phone, phone calls in here as well. So, Jim, I want to introduce you as well. Jim Blake, you're the chairman of Concerned Christians Canada. Again, the website, concernedchristians.ca. Uh, <clears throat> tell us a little bit about your group and uh, why you're involved uh, with this as well. What's at stake here? Well, our group was founded in 1997, and our, our motto is praying, acting, and making a difference. Mm -hmm. And so why we got involved is we saw that uh, the media started really reporting on the issues surrounding Street Church in a way that, that suddenly twisted. Okay. <clears throat> they, they were showing support, massive support for a street church, and all of the reports were, were very positive. And then suddenly, the <clears throat> reports started becoming very negative. And I thought to myself, you know, this is a brother in the Lord. I should really check into this and see what's going on. So I, uh, I gave Art a call and, and asked him. I said, give me your side of the story because I've heard the media. Mm -hmm. I've heard what everybody mm -hmm. else is saying. And I think as Christians, I think we need to do that. I think we need to go one step further, not just believe what, what we see on TV or hear in the media or, or read what, uh, you know, believe what we read in the paper. But actually, if it's, if it's involving a brother and sister in Christ, we should be going one step further and testing all things right. to see if, if, in fact, what we're hearing okay. is true. So you went and checked out, checked out yourself and attended some of their meetings and found out their... Yeah, we, I actually did a very in-depth okay. study, um, okay. looked at the whole history of the ministry, mm -hmm. and, uh, and actually went to a number of their meetings to, to see okay. what was happening, to actually okay. see firsthand. And what I saw was that this was, in fact, a ministry that was very biblical in the sense that uh, they believe that what Jesus asked us to do is what we should actually do, go out into all the world, preach the gospel to all creation, and that that political boundaries um, didn't stop the apostles. They didn't stop, uh, the, they didn't stop Jesus from doing mm -hmm. what he, in fact, instructed us to do. And so they, they continued to push the boundaries and, and made a number of people actually uncomfortable. Yeah, they were controversial in and of themselves, weren't they? Just, uh, and again, uh, so controversy, controversy is not necessarily something that's, that's evil uh, mm -hmm. in and mm -hmm. of itself. So, so, uh, so briefly, I mean, uh, so your, your group, though, I mean, so how do you, I mean, so you want to support what, what art is doing. I'm, I'm assuming you're, you're, you're wanting to stand up for, again, fellow Christians for the right for them to speak up publicly, right? Yeah. And for the right to assembly, assemble freely, these kinds of things. Because as we, as we discussed earlier, uh, I mean, you know, this really affects everybody's rights. The regular church, I mean, even if you're a Muslim group or a Jewish group or a Buddhist group, you know, your right to assemble freely That's in right. a public park in downtown Calgary or anywhere else in Canada is at risk if street church is set off to the side. You know, we don't like your style, therefore you can't do this. Yeah, and, and actually, as an organization, we promote moral leadership on all levels. We promote moral, moral leadership in the family, in the community, in the business world, and, and also in the political realm. Mm -hmm. And 
So when, when we see things that are going on in, in culture, for example, the massive persecution, and maybe people don't see it, but there is persecution across Canada, systemically and directed, targeted at Christians. Everything from hauling Christians uh, to human rights commissions for just airing their views on different issues publicly mm-hmm. uh, to being uh, fined with, with silly fines, like, for example, stunting or, mm-hmm. or uh, you know, uh, various other fines that really are, are irrelevant to what they're actually doing, and they're really just trumped up issues. And at the end of the day, it's a, it's a targeted attack on suppressing freedom of religion in order to okay. express publicly what your views are. And so when, when you know, it says in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it talks about how we're the body of Christ, and, you know, that there are different parts of the body. There's the, you know, the ear and the eye are different. They're not mm-hmm. the same. And so I, I, what I find a lot happens in the church is that we say, well, because that group, for example, street church, does things differently than I would, then, then I don't need it. And if you read chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians, yep. it specifically talks no, on the fact that other. we cannot yeah. do that That's as fine. the body of Christ. We cannot okay. say because the ear is different than the eye and I'm the eye, I don't need you ear. We are one body. And well, that is in Christ. Well, Art, that's one of the nicest things you've been called today, probably. <laughs> the ear. I you've been called other body parts, haven't you? <laughs> I have okay. been called. Uh, all right. <laughs> we won't go there. But uh, you know what? Uh, I, I am running out of time. I, I do want to uh, open it up for, for phone calls as well. Right now, the lines are open. So one triple eight eight one six twenty five forty five. I want, want you to take a look at, actually, uh, what we're talking about here. Because part of the debate is the style. And, 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 and if, if you've watched the show before, you know I typically tend to disagree with Art's style, actually. <laughs> I would be more diplomatic. I would, uh, you know. Uh, my approach would be different. I mean, that's just, you know. Uh, but at the same time, I, I would agree with you, Jim, that, you know what, uh, just because art does things in a more confrontational style, uh, and I may not see things the same, I still want to bless what he's doing in that the gospel is being preached and people are being fed. He's done more for the homeless than I ever have. So you know, what do I do with that, right? Uh, okay, do I say, well, I'm not having art in my show because I do things differently. So, you know, no, no, I, I can still have art in my show, and we can talk about this, okay? But take a look. You'll see a sample of the contra- contra- uh, con- confrontational style, and uh, then you'll see the arrest as well. And uh, then you can let us know if you think the city crossed a line or if art crossed a line. Take a look. Here to preach Jesus no, no, and take these people. I have a right to speak. So why are you persecuting? This is not. a bigger picture. But why are you so this? stuck on having to have your truck parked in the middle of the road? Why? Because it's a safety issue, first of all. First of all, it's... Why did they put the barbed wire? Have you ever been in Auschwitz, Birkenau? Because that's what it looks like. This looks like a concentration camp. These people are treated like animals, I that. and we are here to say no. They're not animals. They're people this is like a road. you. And the road is yeah, not meant and for that's parking. why you have a heart of stone, and you shall be judged in Jesus' name. And you watch. You might laugh now, but you know what? The day of reckoning is yeah. coming. You like yeah. it or not? Yeah. You I might persecute you. us. I heard what you said. That's okay. You've given us a stripe on the shoulder. I heard what you said. But watch. I heard what you said. Because because behold, you touching the children of the living God. You watch. Yeah. You get off the road, please. You know why we have this truck and why oh, we stand on it and preach? No, listen. Because I'm asking you to get off the road, camera. Camera. okay? Just get off the, the road. Camera. Uh, do you understand that? Is that clear to you? It says the earth and the heavens will pass away, but my word will never pass away. You need brownie points? Because the Lord, He is God. He shows us that it's great. He can hop off. He shows us who he truly is. That's the driver. That's the driver. So he's going to get him. Hey, 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 hey,
Sean! Sean! 